I'm very fortunate. I, um, I get to uh, sit in the middle of um, a whole bunch of uh, attention deficit, um, incredibly um, almost, if they're lucky, autistic entrepreneurs on the one side. On the other side, time deficient, um, often aggressive business angels on the other. And my currency is the colossus which um, strides those two bridges is the business plan. And so over my, um, over my many years, I've seen tens of thousands of business plans. And the older I get, the grumpier I get, um, the less I come to love them. One of the major problems that I think I have with them is that most entrepreneurs find it incredibly difficult to write a business plan. And on the other side, business angels spend so little time actually reading them that there's almost a, a pointlessness in the whole exercise. The exercise is one of lazy thinking. It's, um, uh, it's uh, 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 fallen into common um, regard in terms of why people actually look for these pieces of information. One of the reasons that they're so difficult to, um, 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 to build is that as an entrepreneur, it's probably your first time in business. And we're talking about startups here. Um, um, you know, I, think, I think further down the line, of course, a business plan is going to be incredibly useful. But for most startups, you've probably never done this before. You don't really know where you are to start off with. You're not too sure of the resources which you have at your fingertips. You're not too sure exactly what resources you can bring to bear. You're not sure where the competition is coming from. If there is competition, if the competition is there yet, where is the competition perhaps going to come from in the future? There are a whole number of variables, almost impossible. No, they are impossible for you to actually come up with and quantify almost to the point where it is an immensely pointless exercise. What does the business plan tell you? The business plan tells you that you are incredibly good at using Excel spreadsheets and you're incredibly good at guesstimating what these numbers are. As someone looking to invest in a business, are those two qualities the very best criteria that you could possibly have a look at? I'm thinking not. If you want to base your business on guesstimates and Excel spreadsheets, don't think that's really where people should be coming from. Why have they fallen into such common regard? Um, there's, in my mind, I think there's, there's maybe three reasons. The first reason is that there's a whole industry behind business plans. There are websites, there are companies that will do it, unblinkingly charging you thousands of pounds to produce something which, as soon as it is printed, is out of date. There are books, there are um, um, a multitude of different ways you can buy. You can buy software packages that tell you how to do it. There are so many different ways of doing it. Only one thing, in my humble opinion, worse than writing a business plan. And that is getting someone else to write your business plan for you. I venture that you are guaranteed almost 100% to fail if you find it difficult to write your own business plan. Once you get out into the big wide world, they will kill you. If you cannot write your own business plan, that's the easy bit compared to writing the business. The second major reason that it has fallen into common regard are inexperienced or even bad angels. It is just something that people just ask for. You know, I, I'd very much like to see it, but just send me your business plan. It just comes off their tongue, it's completely knee-jerk. They can't but help themselves come up with that. Really? Um, what, what is it that you think you can get Garner from this 64-page document, 300-page document? I've seen business plans written in gold leaf. I have seen them on the back of fag packets, literally. I have seen three or four in terms of on beer mats, double-sided. 
they are just as valuable as I've seen a 500, 600 page um, business plan. Complete and utter nonsense. Every business plan that I have seen of the many, many thousands has two major, major things in common. One is that they will not be read. Who's going to read a, who's going to read a beer mat? Who's going to read a 500 page business plan? The second thing that you can tell with any certainty is that every one of them that I've seen is wrong. Completely and utterly wrong. By the time it's printed, by the time I've got it, it's wrong. What is the point of producing it? Does it make you feel good? Is that really where you're coming from? It makes the angel feel good because he's um, actually there. But consider this, that you're an angel. Um, why are you looking to invest? What is the major reason that you are doing it? The major reason that the, 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 the many thousands of angels I've talked to, I've been very lucky, some would say unlucky. Lucky, unlucky. Um, but I, I, what I love to do is to talk to them, and see how they're actually looking at the businesses. Why are they looking at businesses? What is it that they're looking to get out of it? They're looking to invest between 8 and 9% of their total wealth into equity deals, into angel deals. 91, 92% of their monies is in stocks, bonds, portfolios, pension plans, gold, cars, whatever. That's the stuff that makes them their money. We assumed that people are investing in businesses to make money and I assert that you would be wrong for the vast majority of angels, certainly in Europe. American angels, very different. American angels just don't get that. There's only one reason I'm investing, that's to make money. And that's cool. We're not talking about American angels here, we're talking about the rest of the world. I spent a lot of time in Mexico, I spent a lot of time in Singapore, Hong Kong, and they are Making money is almost coming in at number three. Number two is about altruism. It's about helping people and not making the mistakes that they've made. It's about helping people have a, a, a hand up. It's about um, ego because 92% of them are male. Um, it's um, some sort of weird stuff um, um, in there. But on the whole, it's there. Number one reason, the biggest reason that these people are looking to invest into businesses on the back of what they've seen as a business plan. The number one reason. Not making money, altruism is, this is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Honey, 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 I've moved 7% from fund A to fund B. It's 9.02 on a Monday morning. What am I gonna do for the rest of my time? What these people realize is that they were never happier than when you guys out there at the moment actually looking to set up your own business these are the happy times. These, this is the good times. These guys are not stupid. They're not going to set up a business again. They're not going to get into a startup, but they will invest into a startup where they get on with the person. For them, that is really as important. For them, it's not about your business plan. It's not about the, the typeface you use and the amazing um, pivot tables that you've got and the lookup tables and the 17 pages of market research that you think you have done. Whatever it is that you think you've done, it is wrong. It is wrong. So if somebody then asks you as a, as a startup, and they go, do you know what, I should very much, um, you've been going now for two months, I should very much like to look at your three-year forecast balance sheet. It tells you everything you need to know about them. They are stupid and deluded. <laughs> and they will add very little substance to your business. I see a very large number of business plans. The number one reason that they come to me um, and, 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 and looking for funding is to get the money. That's what you're looking for? Probably you will not be successful. Really what an angel is bringing is his expertise, is his business contacts and his mentorship. It is those three things, if the money is 100, those other qualities are 5,000. That is what you are looking for. Can you find that in a business plan? No. It's impossible to actually get across what it is, your personality. The third reason that it's fallen into um, um, just common usage are business schools. Business schools teach them. My children are not at business school, but they're at primary school. They've learned how to use business plans. 
lecturers, teach people how to fill them in, how to do them, what to do about them, what pages to fill in, and whatever. It's not the real world. That's not what people are actively looking for. What people are looking for is a connection. What people are buying into isn't the fact that you have covered everything in, in your 700 pages. It is absolutely about whether or not I get on with you or not. Are you passionate about what you do? I am buying you. It's just an idea. I don't care. Ideas are 10 a penny. It's a fantastic idea. I really genuinely don't care. Rather than filling in um, hours and hours and hours of filling in the business plan, just get on and make some mistakes. Make some mistakes. Make 100 mistakes. Learn from those mistakes. Get on with the mistakes. That is what people want to buy into. People would much rather say, I, I, I've made you, I have no idea how many mistakes I've made to actually be here today. I want to hear that. I don't want to know what might happen sometime in the future with a whole bunch of different variables. In my experience, angels barely look at the numbers that you come up with because they know, they're experienced business people. They know that they're nonsense. They know that you have no idea what the numbers are. If you think you have an idea what your cash flow is going to be in three years time, you are stupid and deluded and you will never, ever, ever get funded. If you're looking for capital and you could give me with some idea of certainty what your cash flow is gonna be in three weeks time, I'd be mighty, mighty impressed. For these guys sitting in business schools, business schools produce the best business plans that I see. Business schools, to generalize, produce the worst businesses. Fantastic business plans covering absolutely everything. But what they are missing is that ingredient. That technically, theoretically, you're going, wow, you guys have nailed the whole thing. There's nothing, there's nothing I just can't fault. The comprehensiveness of it. But it's just not there. What is it that angels are looking to invest into? What is it that makes one deal investable and another deal uninvestable? It's not that I'm gonna make 100 times money, because guess what? Every business that I've ever seen is gonna make 100 times money. You're not. If you think you're gonna make 100 times money, you're stupid and deluded, and you will never ever get funded. You might make a couple of times money, maybe, perhaps. That would be really great. But it that means the whole point. These guys are not looking for 100 times money. That's what 91, 92% of their assets are already performing. For these guys, this is about something completely different. For these guys, it's about do you have the passion? Can you actually do it? Have you been able to communicate to me what it is that you're about? The biggest problem that I find with entrepreneurs, um, especially geeks, is that they cannot explain what they do to a normal human being. Over a third of them, I'm talking to them for half an hour. I'm more confused at the end of half an hour about what their business is than where I was coming from. And it is this, it's as if a verse from the Quran has smacked them in the face and they go, what, people have to understand what I do before they're going to invest? I'm going, well, yeah. Some of our more experienced angels, what they say is that they are making their mind up about the deal as the person is walking towards them to pitch. You're not wearing a tie. How dare you come before me not wearing a tie? You are wearing a tie. I don't want to invest in some stiff that's wearing a tie. You're a woman. Who's going to invest in a woman? You're not a woman. That's absolutely ridiculous. You're wearing glasses. You've got underarm deodorant problems. Good boy, you need to sort that out. What did you have for lunch? Because, dude, you've got halitosis that would kill a rhinoceros. Anti-Drandav shampoo would have been really, really nice. Did your mummy dress you in the dark this morning? You've got one, two, three seconds to give me your business card. Well, dude, is that how you are in business? Because I'm out already. You've got sweaty little hands. Why have you got sweaty little hands? You're not making eye contact with me. Why are you not smiling? I'm just about to make your dreams come true. You haven't said a word. <laughs> haven't said a word. They're mostly there. Why are they mostly there? Because they're going to spend what they think is 37 months with you above a small fish shop, hanging out with you. I'm going to make 100 times money. 
I really genuinely don't care if you can make 100 times money. That's not what I'm here for. I'm kind of here because I want to help you, because I want to give something back, because I want to be happy. That is what I'm about. Is that stuff in a business plan? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. It, it, it can't be. What is important, and a video would be really important, a lean canvas is a way of actually displaying really rather quickly what it is that you're about and that you understand business. You have to get that across somehow. Your pitch has to be able to transmute that. You have to be able in some way to have a legacy that says, here's what I'm going to do and here's a roadmap. A 600 page document, a 30 page document, something that is completely cast in stone and you paid thousands of pounds for or spent many, many months is not the way to do it. If you think it is the way to do it, then I think you're wrong. That is my assertion. If you want to go and get funding, most people do, it is about challenging the way that you look at business, challenging the way that you're looking at um, um, the whole world. You need to be able to cast off your bow lines, change the very nature and the way that you are looking at it. Professors, you need to stop teaching it in an old fashioned way. It's not about business plans, it's not about filling in all the things, it is about getting across your passion and your personality. Angels, ask for whatever it is that is of interest to you. It's a weird coincidence to me that you all want to look at the same documents, but no one, no one's reading them. The average time to read a business plan, two minutes and 12 seconds. They're looking for pictures. They're looking at the executive summary. They're going, I don't understand that. I do understand that. I'm going to read the rest of it. They're looking at five or six things. That's it. Do not waste your time. Make mistakes. Get to the minimal viable product. You have choices. You have choices. Entrepreneurs, Grasp your inner beer mats. March forward with whatever it is that you want. Do not worry about alienating an angel. This is not... This is not about feedback. This is totally and utterly about not the first one to get the funding. It's not a race to get funding. There's no shortage of money out there. Totally no shortage. It's not about getting the money in as quickly as you can. It's about getting the money in from somebody who you get on with, who can actually help you, who will mentor you, who will actually get you over the line by introducing you to contacts. The business plan is not the way to do it. Thank you very much. <laughs>